So what's the difference between this lattice and this lattice? Same variety, planted at the same time. The difference is the system. This is a Dutch bucket that's recirculating, meaning the nutrient solution goes out from here drips into the bucket and any excess goes back to the tank so what we call closed loop nutrient solution goes up goes back to the tank whereas this line and this line are part of that dutch bucket system where it is an open loop meaning the nutrient solution goes out but does not go back here's where the excess nutrient solution comes out and in my previous videos i've talked a lot about how this closed loop system is good for short term crops uh, because the uh, minerals over time gets out of balance because uh, you know uh, the water level goes down the nutrient solution goes down you fill, fill it with more fertilizer so you're adding more fertilizer on top of old fertilizer NPK is gone you know quickly but the mi micronutrient and the secondary elements are there and they accumulate and that what causes some toxicity and some burn. So these were, um, you know, uh, planted here, let me see, early November. We are towards the end of December. So that's more uh, too, too long, okay? Uh, too long. So I've said before, two, three months, um, if you measure the pH and adjust the EC, you don't just refill the tank blindly and expect it to cause no side effects. So you measure the pH, you adjust the pH, measure the EC, make sure sometimes you just add water if the EC is too high. You don't always add fertilizer. You measure EC, it's too high, you just add water to fill the tank if you're growing a crop long term. Whereas here, where whenever the tank is empty, you just refill it, there were never an issue of toxicity. So if you are dealing with any closed loop uh, system, like uh, this Dutch bucket, like that vertical tower, like that NFT system, you have to take care of the EC. Um, um, and another option beside measuring the pH and all that, another option is to remove the buckets from you know remove them like that and then wash it down with water okay so uh, basically leach out the salts that have accumulated here okay you can see that this is even a little reddish color that's the fertilizer the fertilizer has a red color so that has a lot of salts or fertilizer in it so one uh, another option to do is once in a while disconnect all and that's what I mean by disconnecting, removing, removing the bucket so that when you pour water, it will pour out, not back into the tank, okay? Ideally, it will be nice to have that tank out of the way because these two, the, or actually these three, uh, these three buckets, when if I'm pouring to leach out the salts, they are right on top of the tank. So be careful when you do this. And, uh, and of course, this is a beautiful video to show you uh, when it's time to clean your system between crops. You gotta open it, uh, pour some water, pressure washer uh, if you can, or high pressure, whatever it takes to clean inside this pipe from algae, from roots, from everything. It's not just uh, uh, fill the, refill the tank, uh, put new uh, crops and and that's it no uh, we've had uh, plants uh, get uh, um, clogged emitters get clogged because of uh, uh, you know algae or roots in the system here